obviously headphones means i just got finished shopping but hello chan fam welcome back to another vlog don't mind my hair guys today was kind of like a crazy hair day usually i do like these curly bangs but they didn't work out today so i did straight ones and that still didn't work out i just finished shopping at walmart it is five days four days before christmas I'm so excited. You guys know it's my favorite holiday ever. I'm such a winter baby. I got Jolie another present. She really doesn't need one because when you guys see what I got her, she doesn't need another present. But I always get suckered. I always see this stuff. I'm like, oh, but Jolie would love that so much. I got Arcelli a present and I got my neighbors a present because my family, every Christmas, like we always give our neighbors gifts. It's just a nice gesture, you know? It just like, we live next door to each other we have to see each other a lot you don't want to be enemies with your neighbors at least i try to every year get gifts for my neighbors like when i lived in north hollywood you guys actually i think i vlogged me giving gifts to all my neighbors and like doing like little gift bags for them and then this year though i only have like one neighbor next to me the neighbors above me get on my fucking nerves so i was like hell no i'm not giving them gifts because they are so fucking they're just ratchet <laughs> like they're annoying and they're not ratchet as in like they're loud or nothing well their kids are loud but their kids just don't have any home training but that's besides the point so didn't get them a gift but my neighbor is like directly next to me because it's just like in my building or my complex it's literally like my apartment and then one right next to me and that's it there's no one on the other side of me or you know like anything else so i got the neighbors next to me a gift i got them just these cookies i got these cookies for myself actually uh last week and they're really really good they're these frosted sugar cookies but i got these because they have kids so these are for the kids but then for them i just got them some stella rosa uh this is moscato sweet moscato and then i just got them a little card and yeah that's usually i just like always like to get something you know for my neighbors just to be nice the holiday spirit i lost my keys guys <laughs> what did i do with my keys oh i put them back in my purse i'm trying to think if i want starbucks or if i want boba that is the biggest struggle right now of my life because my mom wants boba and jolie wants boba so i have to go to the boba place no matter what to get them boba but i'm trying to i'm trying to decide if i want boba for myself like am i gonna finish it because usually i don't i love how i'm backing up and this lady is still look you see her she was about to get hit by my car she still just kept walking as i'm backing up my car like you don't see me backing up but i wasn't gonna stop so i sided with my starbucks <laughs> it's really good today i only got a grande but it's really good now i'm heading home to pick up ferrari because i left him at home because i knew i was gonna be in walmart for a little bit because lines are really long since the holidays are just four days away so i left him at home i'm gonna go pick him up right now because he, he's gonna come with me to my mom's house we went yesterday by the way i don't even think i mentioned that but i actually went to my mom's house last night came back to my house last night because i didn't want to sleep at my mom's house because i wanted my pregnancy pillow i just wasn't comfortable i feel like once you become like so so far into your pregnancy like you need to be in your own bed and that's literally how i was feeling i was like i can't sleep here i was like getting anxiety i was like i need to go home so i ended up driving home at like 11 30 at night and not getting home to like an hour and a half later but it was worth it i got some really good sleep last night and so did ferrari um he actually slept in his bed the whole night surprisingly but um yeah we're gonna go pick him up drop off these gifts to the neighbors and then i'm gonna go get boba for jolie and my mom and then head to them so probably the next clip will be me at my mom's house because it's the rest the in between is kind of boring you guys don't really care about that <laughs> the ground is cold okay guys we are at the house come joe okay. decorating for christmas how many days before yes. four we're four. not gonna talk about four look at how pretty my mom is hanging up ornaments on the tree how's that going mom <laughs> how do you think it's going joey <laughs> It's a very interesting process, to say the least. Mm hmm I agree. All right, peanut gallery. <laughs> How long does it take to hang up one ornament? Very long, considering How many that people does it there. take to hang up one ornament? How long does it take to punch you in the face? Mm, a long time. I'm pretty quick on my feet. No, you're not. Not when you're <laughs> Julie, you're supposed to be on my team. You gotta put some more lights up there. Yeah. On the big, uh... Yeah. It's not even that cold out here, Mom. I'm cold. You got a scarf on and everything. Scarf, <laughs> jacket, I know. Boots. The boots. Long sleeve shirt. Well, you're going to 
What's, where is it cold? Canada? <laughs> Jolie's just out here in jeans and a, a, sweat, a sweater. <laughs> she really has a whole scarf on. <laughs> we live in California. <laughs> okay, well, we'll get back to you guys on the final. Whoa. What are you doing? TikTok dances? Cringy. Watch, you're gonna see this when you're older and you're like, wow, I was so cringy. I'm telling you now, you're cringy. I know I am. Um, we'll get back to you guys once it's done, which might be tomorrow. But yeah. my mom doing this. <laughs> the tree's still not done and we started that yesterday. Why are you putting them so close, mom? It's fine. <laughs> Me and Julie just finished doing the gingerbread competition. I'm gonna show you guys our gingerbreads, but if you want to see the full video, it'll be on my main channel. I will link it down below because it should be up by the time you guys see this or if it's not, it'll be up on Christmas Day. But this is the final result. I'm not going to tell you whose is whose, but comment down below which gingerbread house you like the best. That was really fun. I'm really tired though, my back is killing me. It hurts so, 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 so much. But I'm gonna go edit these videos. Did you clean the counter already? No. I was supposed to say, this still looks dirty. Oh yeah, I was supposed to show you guys the decorations outside. Let me show you one second. Oh, I'm also gonna show you the tree that finally got put up, but it's still not finished being decorated. So these are all the ornaments that still need to go on the tree. that are obviously still on the floor and in the buckets. But here is the tree. Apparently my mom gets fake trees now. They've had fake trees for a few past few years that I haven't been here. But it looks really pretty, just really big and really awkwardly shaped. So this is the door. They got lights out here, it says Merry Christmas, really cute. Then our palm trees have lights on them as well. We have our reindeer, we have these every year. One is like looking and one's eating. Really cute. I would show you the rest of the house, but it would kind of give away like where we live. So I'm not going to do that. But yeah, those are the decorations they have up so far. Look at that. Hi, Ferrari. Did you help decorate? Did you help decorate, Papa? <laughs> I love your Christmas sweater so much. It's so cute. I have not vlogged at all. Really yeah. Come on, taste it. It literally tastes like the Panera kind. I've never had the Panera one. Really? That's Jolie's favorite. Huh. What? I said that's your favorite, huh? It's hot. hot. The macaroni. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah. Okay guys, so we did a lot. What what have we done? We were watching YouTube videos earlier. Then we went to Michael's. Then we went to Target. Oh, no. she started on my Chromebook. Or what is that? An HP. What she said. Her computer. I fixed I fixed her computer. So she can use it now. Okay, camera ran out of storage, but I was saying Panera bread was actually closed because it was eleven o'clock. So instead we went to Target and they have like Panera soup. So they sell Panera soup and Panera macaroni and cheese there. So I was gonna just get soup, but then I asked Jolie if she wanted macaroni and cheese. So yeah, so I said I'd split it with her. I just wanted something warm because my contractions were hurting my stomach and like if I had something warm in my stomach, I was hoping it would make it feel better, which actually is kind of helping. But we just got my cheese. And it tastes good, Joe? Mm -hmm. I like it. Did you like it, Mom? Uh -huh. The we best. Come back for like 15 more bites. <laughs> That's why you never let her try it. Oh, good. It's way too close to my face right now for comfort, but whatever. Is there no hood on this? There's no hood on this. I don't know if you guys can hear me clearly over the sound of my heater, so I'm so sorry, but it's too cold to not have it on. It's the next morning. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. It is two days. Two days? One day? Two days before Christmas. It's the 23rd, but technically I say one day before Christmas because 
Christmas Eve is tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Hopefully you guys see this video before, but knowing me, you probably see it after, but we'll see, we'll see. I woke up at 10 a.m. to go to a doctor's appointment that I was supposed to have at 11. They didn't see me until 12.30. I was so annoyed, guys. So annoyed. I'm currently at Highway Patrol because my car seat came in a few days ago actually but i just put it in my seat my car yesterday i mean and so i had actually ran into some firemen at starbucks like the other day and asked them if i'm supposed to go to the fire station to get it done because i know fire like they used to have like you go to the fire station and the firemen would install it for you correctly but he was like they don't do that anymore now highway patrol does it so i brought it here but my car is kind of messy i'm not gonna like lie to y'all right now it's looking a hot mess so i'm gonna quickly like just move everything to the front by the way shout out to nate aka nate's life aka nate got the keys nate got nate got the keys i don't know what his new youtube name is but shout out to nate he is one of my best friends and he actually bought me this car seat i got the nuna Pipa Light LX car seat in black. Well, it's actually called something else. I don't, it's not called black, but it's the black one. And it is so beautiful. I love it so much. So thank you, Nate. You're the best ever. Okay. Now, does the car seat go behind me or does it go behind? What is this? There's like who sits back here because I swear people just make a mess. In there, the highway patrol was a bust. They did not install my car seat. And by the way, the officer that was in there was really rude. He wasn't rude to me, but he was rude to the guy that like was in front of me. And then when the guy left, he was talking shit about him after he left. And I was like, damn, this is why people don't like police officers. I like, I, I don't dislike police officers just because my dad is a police officer. But I know that there are some crooked police officers out there. You know what I mean? But I'm like, this is why. This is why people tend to dislike all police officers as one because y'all make a bad name for them. Some of y'all, not all of them, some of them. We have made it to the outlets. I'm with Munchkin and my mom. We are instantly stopping at, what is this called? The Sweet Spot Grapes and Fresh Lemonade because I'm thirsty. Like very, very thirsty, yes. Careful. So I got a mango lemonade. What'd you get? Normal lemonade. Yeah. But now we're looking at these crepes. These crepes look really, really good. Wait, she's kind of burning that one, huh? She's kind of burning. You smell it? <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Um, we're going to do some shopping. I guess I ran out. What are you getting? What are you shopping for? Do you have a list or something? Do you know what we're here for? I don't either. <laughs> I want shoes though. I need some new shoes. Um, we are now at Jamba Juice getting waffles. These waffles. Have you ever had Jamba Juice waffles? They're the best. If you haven't, you gotta try them. But I'm getting Jolie one because she hasn't tried it before. But shout out to Lizette. I believe that was her name, right? We weren't listening, huh? That was not. The girl who I ran into a few minutes ago in front of. She had her. pink hair. <laughs> Hi, can I get the, the two waffles, please? Shout out to you, you're so sweet. Um, nice meeting you. But um, we went to Nike, didn't find anything there. We went to Adidas, we found stuff there. We're gonna go back and get it because the line was long. Yes, please. And now we're going, my mom's in American Eagle, but I don't shop there. And she can't put the stuff in there, so. John, would you sit in? No, it's not. No, look, hold it like this. Now okay. bite it. Don't take a big bite, take a tiny one. Right? Alright, so now we are at my. Now we are at. 21. Now we are at Marshall's. Um, okay, yeah, that's Chandler. This is baby play mat. I'm gonna see if this goes with the room. So now she's trying to find a baby play mat. No, I found one already. It's in my hand. I know, but you don't know Mom. if it matches with your room. Did this will go through? Right. And these are so these are skinnier. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. <laughs> I found shoes, guys. These are so cute. We're at Marshalls. These are on sale for $39.99. Usually these shoes are like 60 bucks. Um 
these she's planning cool. on wearing them with these like adidas pants dang just tell them my plans for ruin all my videos give them all the hints <laughs> okay you can get getting these there you go and if they have that Another update, Chandler almost lost her phone, so that's just <laughs> great. Mom. She left it on a shelf. The same ones in all black. Well. Alright, here we are. We are now selling London brands in America. This is Elise. I have a bunch of stuff going. You used to have a bunch of stuff in them. So now we are in like the women's section. She's trying to find just different things just for her. So different Adidas stuff. Yeah, let's walk in there. Pregnant nice. belly. Yeah, yep. the crop, crop top on. It's you probably the first. best situation. After I give birth though. You know? Maybe. We'll, we'll think about it. That's in the oh, maybe section. You see how I made that in there? Sure, Chandler. And I am manhandling the cart. So that's fun. We are now in Tilly's. Um, We're on Cook We are now in We are now in Adidas. Getting contractions. Why do you keep putting it on me? It's blurry too. There you go. Why do you keep putting it on me? I am so freaking exhausted. It is hours, 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 many, many hours later. I just was not in the mood to vlog today. I don't know, like, I, I just don't feel like in the holiday spirit. And I think it was because kind of things were going just bad for me earlier today. Not bad, but I was just arguing with someone who I didn't want to argue with. And it just kind of put me in a bad mood. I mean, we're good now, so it's fine. But I don't know. You know when you get into an argument with someone, it just kind of like messes up your day messes up your okay i'm gonna it's getting dark sorry guys you're gonna have to deal with it but it just kind of messed up my vibe for the day but i did enjoy spending time with my sister and my mom uh you guys saw we went to the outlet i ended up getting jolie some adidas sweatpants and i ended up buying myself three new pairs because they were on sale for 20 bucks well jolie's weren't on sale but the ones i got for myself were on sale for 20 bucks each and i was like um i need all the colors <laughs> I love Adidas. So if you guys don't know, well, you guys see my outfits a lot, but I literally roll around in hoodies and sweatpants. I'm literally, that's literally my outfit right now. But after that, because of the discussion, we'll say discussion, not argument, just because my mood is a little bit better now. So the discussion I had with someone, I ended up having to go to Target to look for this item that I could not find anywhere near the stores near me. Um, I was trying to find it at Target. I could not find it near any of the Targets near me. So I ended up driving... 30 minutes away to this whole other target that I just left and it's literally midnight guys literally midnight I got everything I needed and I'm like oh, thank goodness they had what I needed because I would have been really upset had I driven 30 minutes away and it wasn't there the item I needed but I manifested it I said you know what I'm gonna put it into the universe that they have the item it's there I'm gonna get all the rest of my Christmas shopping done which I did wait did I <laughs> I think I did I think I got everything I needed yeah so I manifested it I did it manifestation is my favorite thing in the world but then as I was leaving which I wasn't really gonna vlog this but I feel like I should because you this isn't something new for me and I actually let me talk about it actually for a quick second okay first let me tell you what's going on basically when I was leaving or when I went into Target there was this man outside and he was playing christmas music like super super loud I, I like when i was walking in i was looking around like what since when does target have speakers outside and i was looking and then i realized it was this man playing it from like this loud speaker so he's playing this you know christmas music getting everybody in the vibes whatever and then keep in mind i've been at target for like an hour and i walk out and he was still there no music anymore but he was still there and so i was like i couldn't tell if he was homeless so he had a bunch of bags near him um you know it's this black man this black older man kind of he's older he's like maybe 40s couldn't tell if he was homeless or not so i asked one of the target employees that was like pushing carts like 
is has that man been there all day and he was like eh, he's been here for quite quite some time and i was like hmm okay so i went up to him keep in mind guys it's raining it's not raining right now but it was it's been raining today um and it's really cold outside so i went up to him well i drove up to him in my car and was like hey sir have you ate and he was like mm, a little bit earlier but not really i was like are you hungry would you like me to get you something to eat he was like sure a burger and some fries would be nice so i'm currently at mcdonald's getting him food now the reason i want to share this with you guys is not to be like bragging like oh i'm giving back to the homeless or giving back to anyone that's not my intentions at all because as you guys know every year my family usually does something where we help out the homeless you guys know i've actually done it with the chan fam before and i really loved that's like one of my favorite vlogmas memories where we raised i can't remember how much money i think it was like 300 400 800 i don't know we raised some sort of hundred dollars amount and got burgers for the homeless and me and a few other people handed them out at skid row in downtown so every holiday which i don't only give back during the holidays but the holidays i feel like is especially the time where some people just need a little bit of help you know like that extra help that extra love just to show them that somebody cares for them because i feel like you know i've been homeless at one point and when you get to that point it kind of feels like there's no one there for you so to have just a random stranger you know do something nice for you it means a lot to those people so i would say the only reason i'm sharing this with you guys is because i want you guys to also do the same if you ever have the chance give back and the reason i say have the chance because i know not everyone has the chance to give back but hold on let me see if i can order here the reason I say have a chance again is because not everyone has like the money to do that or you know maybe you're struggling yourself you know in that, that case help yourself but the reason I chose to do it tonight is because I have already spent <laughs> almost like a thousand dollars tonight and I was actually gonna because I'm so tired you guys know when I'm tired I don't like to cook food I was actually going to buy myself some dinner which I still might. Now I'm at McDonald's. I kind of want McDonald's. <laughs> but I was like, if I can order myself some food, I can instead give that food to someone else who needs it more than I do. So that's what I mean. If you're ever in that kind of, you know, position to help someone, do what you can. By the way, because once you guys see this video, Christmas will have passed. Comment down below letting me know what you got for Christmas. I didn't actually ask for anything for Christmas this year. I didn't ask for anything last year. didn't ask for anything the year before that, I don't think. It's nothing really that i want to be honest like i just buy myself anything that i want and i don't like people buying me expensive things i really have like a <laughs> hard time with that so i didn't ask for anything for christmas i love giving gifts for christmas it's like one of my favorite things like literally buying all this stuff i mean i hate spending money if you guys know me personally i always like my friends think it's so funny um i love making money but therefore I hate spending money. Like even though I have money, not trying to brag again, I just hate spending it. Like I'd rather just, like if I could, I would just keep oh, money in a you? safe. Hi, can I get um, a number nine please, Mill? Oh, I didn't even talk about the reason why I wanted to talk about this in the first place. I remember in one of my vlogs, I went to Starbucks and I paid for the person behind me and a bunch of people had commented about it and I think someone had said like oh she didn't even mention that she paid for their drink or something like that guys to be honest a lot of times when I do things I don't realize like it's something that needs to be talked about I, I guess like I don't I'm not doing something to mention it in a vlog. Well, in this case, I'm I am vlogging to mention it, but um, I don't do things so that I can mention it in a vlog. Does that make sense? I pay for people's drinks all the time. Like I said, just sometimes I'm like in a giving mood, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm in a really good mood. Let me pay it forward. Let me put someone else in a good mood. You know? But I just don't see it as a big deal to be like, did you guys see? I just paid for that person's drink. Like post me on your social media saying like give back hashtag nah i'm good and to be honest i don't really like that kind of attention because i feel like a lot of people turn situations like that into a negative one saying like oh they're only doing it because they want this or they want that i don't want anything from anybody this line is taking hella long and i'm tired i haven't seen my dog all day guys because i've been gone i've been at my doctor's appointments i've been shopping i've been driving <sighs> oh 
Did I even mention I got my car seat installed? <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned that or that I stopped at my aunt's house as well. Both of those things happened. My car seat is installed. It is so freaking cute, guys. Like, I love it so much. Oh my gosh. I'm pulling up to where the man was sitting. I don't see him. I don't see him. I'm gonna turn the camera off, guys, but I think I found him. I just gave him the food. He was so sweet. He was like $100 million to you in two days. You know what? I wish that for me too. Let's manifest that together, sir. I'm home and I just realized I bought the wrong item. <laughs> Oh, it's not that big of a deal to be honest. It's still the item that I bought still works out First I got this candy gloop and makes slime that you can eat I got this actually a few days ago from Walmart for Jolie and she loves slime for some reason still At 11 years old loves to make slime. So I got her one that she can eat I just bought it as like kind of like a filler present because I actually already bought Jolie's present I had never said what it was because I was sure she would see the video and, you know, know her Christmas present. But I got her this, which this is a case for this gift, which is some AirPods. I bought Jelly some AirPods because she really wanted them. So I got her that. I'm gonna wrap all this stuff tomorrow. I'm not too. I was gonna do it tonight, but I'm way too tired. And then I also got some wrapping paper from Target, just like this brown and black one. It matches my house, so I thought that was cute. My camera stopped recording because I ran out of storage. I'm not even sure where it ran out of storage. But anything that I showed that got cut out, I'll put it on the screen right now, like insert a clip saying what I got. Okay, next, I went to Adidas, or Adidas, however you want to pronounce it. And I got these blue which are kind of showing up black on screen. Blue track pants, black and white, all black. Like those stripes on the sides are all black. And I'm going to wear one of these pairs to the hospital. That's actually what I intended on getting them for. I only wanted to get one pair, but then for somehow, some, I mean, somehow I ended up falling in love with all three and buying all three and then also buying Jolie a pair. <laughs> So, don't know how that happened, but I love those sweatpants, like I live in them, so I'm okay with it. I got some bows so I can wrap, or to put on the gifts that I wrap. I got my stepdad a $50 gift card, like $50 total in gift cards to Domino's. It's his favorite place ever. And then I got my uncle a $25 gift card to Panda and a $25 gift card to Chipotle because I wasn't sure what he would like. So, that's their Christmas gift. I got my mom the... Fitbit Versa, which is basically like an Apple Watch, but it's a Fitbit. Um, she got herself a Fitbit, but I told her to return it because I wanted her to have the best one. She got like the smaller one for herself. I got her the biggest one. So got her the Fitbit Versa. I bought a new tree skirt because I saw this one and it was a lot bigger and I kind of liked it to match my apartment. So I bought it even though my tree already has a tree skirt, but whatever. I bought some new ornaments, guys. So I got a C. Oh, I didn't even realize I already have a C. I didn't need a C. I got a C for my name, but I already have one. So I don't know why I bought another one, but whatever. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. We're gonna end it there. I'm so tired. I just wanna go to bed. Don't wanna do anything else. Just wanna go to sleep. So I <laughs> love you guys so much. Ferrari loves you too, huh, Ferrari? Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Love you all. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings.